Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are drawing the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for the simply supported beam that just has an applied moment right at the center of the span. So the first thing that we do is we draw the free body diagram and then solve for the reactions. So we find that AY is actually 25 kilonewtons pushing down and BY is 25 kilonewtons pushing up. So we're ready to draw our shear force diagram now. It's pretty simple. Uh, let's just label it here. We have our shear force diagram and this is in kilonewtons. So if we went and drew a, a small free body diagram for a virtual cut anywhere along this span, uh, we'll see that starting from the left hand side we have uh, AY was 25 kilonewtons pushing down. So the internal shear force anywhere has to just be 25 kilonewtons pressing back up because there's no other applied forces until we get to the very end. So we can just draw that on as well, actually, if we look at this, this is pushing up on the right-hand side, so that's opposite to our positive sign convention for shear. So this is a negative 25 kilonewtons. So we'll just drop in a straight line the whole way across, just like that, and we'll label this as negative uh, 25. If we wanted to take a look at it from the other side, just to confirm that this seems right, what we're doing, we'll start on the right-hand side. We'll take a cut somewhere along here. And we know that our reaction at uh, at B here was 25 going up. So uh, on the left, if we had a cut on the left hand side, we'd have to have a shear force of 25 going down. So that 25 magnitude in its opposite sense for when the cut is on the left hand side. So that would be negative 25. So the whole way across, no matter where we go, the shear force is 25 negative 25 kilonewtons, and it's actually unaffected by crossing past this uh, this applied moment here. So if we go and start drawing our bending moment diagram now, then what we can do is we can, again, we can draw the free body diagram uh, coming from the left hand side. But what we want to do now is we're concerned about the internal moment. So let's add in the internal moment here. And then we can take our, uh, we can take our sum of moments about A. Starting from the left hand side, we're going to go from zero to two meters. Uh, the expression is going to look like this. Uh, if we say this is the positive direction, uh, we will have 25, so we also should throw this in here, so x. So for 0 to 2x, we have 25x plus our internal moment is going to be equal to 0. So we're just going to find that our internal moment anywhere along the here from, from 0, so for x equals 0 to 2, uh, we're going to have our internal moment is just going to be equal to negative 25 times x. So, and again, if you remember from the last videos, we at a pin, because this is simply supported, we have a pin at each end, uh, we can't have any internal moment building up in those pins, so we know that we're going to start, or the internal moment at the one end is going to be zero, and the internal moment at the other end is going to be zero. So for two, for section zero to two, zero to two meters, we have m is equal to negative 25x, so if we plug in a zero, obviously, this becomes zero and that checks out. If we put in x equals one, so halfway along the section, we get negative 25. And then if we uh, plug in x equals like just to the left-hand side of two, so like 1.99999, we're going to get this is equal to uh, negative 50. So this is negative 25 and negative 50. Now, so far this makes sense because in the past videos too, we've been saying that if we, uh, if we just take the area of the shear force diagram and uh, that, that becomes a change in magnitude of the bending moment diagram. So for the first half here we have a height of 25 of base times 2 so 25 times 2 and it's on the negative side that would give us negative 50. Now if we if we continued this on all the way we'd end up way down here at negative uh, maybe we'll just bring this down a little. If we continued this trend on we would, uh, we would end up down here at negative 100, but we know we have to end at zero. So the thing that's going on here is when we, uh, when we draw the bending, or when we draw the, uh, the free body diagram for the, uh, for the system, once we pass x equals two, we're actually including that applied moment because that's where it's acting. So we'll have a lot of the same stuff here. So this is for, maybe I'll just write this in here. This is for, uh, put in a little separator. This is for x is equal to two to uh, uh, from zero. To, uh, sorry, from two to four. All right. So 
Here we have uh, 25 kilonewtons pressing down. We have a shear force, which has to be 25 kilonewtons pressing up. We have an internal moment, but we also have passed two, so we have to include this externally applied moment, which was 100 kilonewton meters. So when we do the sum of forces, or sorry, the sum of moments, uh, let's say about point A, then we're getting, uh, well, we have 25 times x, that's the moment caused by the shear force, plus the internal moment, uh, and then uh, this, this externally applied moment is going to be on the other side of the equation because it's going the other way, so we have 100 kilonewton meters. And when we rearrange for the internal moment from x equals 2 to x equals 4, we just get this is equal to 100 minus 25 x. So if we look at uh, at the position x equals 4, well 100 times 20 or 100 minus 25 times 4 that gives us that zero that we're looking for and that's good. If we do it x equals 3, 100 minus 25 times 3 that's 100 minus 75 that gives us positive 25. So we come up like this. This is positive 25. And if we look just on the right hand side of 2, so like 100 minus 25 times like uh, 2.000001, we approach positive 50, just like that. So we actually get that proper trend, So, but uh, we have a discontinuity. So like we said, if the we were expecting it to go down like that, what really happens is we keep that same slope, but at the applied moment it jumps up, and that same slope applies and brings us back down to zero like we were expecting. So when you see an applied moment on a beam like this, the shear force diagram will stay continuous, but the bending moment diagram will have a discontinuity in it. Very similar to how when we have had a point force, uh, there's a discontinuity in the shear force diagram where that point force is acting, uh, whereas if it's a an applied moment, we have a discontinuity in the bending moment diagram where that externally applied moment is acting. And in this case, it brings us up. It's 100 kilonewton meters, so it jumps us from negative 50 to positive 50. And then here, actually, we can take the area analogy where we had this negative area, which is 25 times 2. And uh, that is uh, that brings the bending moment diagram down by 50 units. And so we go from 50 linearly down to 0, 2. So you can still see that does hold true. Just watch out for these discontinuities when we have applied moments.